Okay, uh, another question. Uh, this is section from section 4.3, uh, question number six. Uh, it's a good one because it contains all kinds of features having to do with combination or having to do with permutations. So it's a teacher, a question that a lot of teachers like. Uh, anyway, uh, I have to form a seven-digit number with these seven digits. That would be fine. Okay. Notice we have two twos, two fives. So in section 4.3, we have identical elements where we lose variability because this two and this two are exactly the same, and this five and this five are exactly the same. Uh, but we also have some extra conditions, even numbers and less than three million. So we have to do a bunch of different cases. So if we go over here again. These are all the conditions that we need to meet. These are all the numbers that we have. We've got two sets of identical elements. If we were just to keep this simple and not worry about the even and the less than three million, with no conditions, it would be seven positions, sorry, seven elements, seven positions, like this, but it wouldn't be seven factorial. Okay, it'd be seven factorial, and then because these two elements are identical, these two elements are identical, you lose the variability from having these different, you lose the variability from having these different, so you lose two factorial here and two factorial here, so there you go. But, once you start adding even, less than three million, it makes sense to break it up into cases. Take your time, make sure you do it right. So that's what we're gonna do. So the first case that we're gonna do, and we'll go ahead and probably add them all up together afterwards. We're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven positions for the seven elements that we have. Remember the seven elements are right here, okay? But if it's gonna be um, even, then I could either have a two or a six. So I'm gonna put a two here. Fix it in place, that means there's only one number that could go on that spot. You may say, yeah, but there's two twos. Yeah, and one of those twos is here. So that two doesn't arrange around anymore, so who cares, okay? We leave it there, it's fixed. Now, what happens is basically we've lost this two, okay? Now, we also have to make it less than three million. To make it less than three million, we can't have a three in here, because if this is a three, if any other number, it's gonna be greater than three million. So we can only have a two and a one in this spot. So let's say I put a two here and I put a one here. I also fix that in place. That means there's no variability here and here for this particular case, which means I've lost the one and the two. Okay, now these are my numbers that I can arrange in these five positions. Five elements, five positions. So in essence, it would be five times four times three times two times one. Okay, or five factorial times one times one. Okay, but we also have two fives. So we divide by two factorial. You may say to yourself, what about the two twos? Well, this two is stuck in this place. So the twos that are arranged around here aren't identical elements anymore because they're not stuck in place. Okay, we don't lose the variability. Now this is only one case that works. Less than three million even. We could also go Keep this as a two, fix it in place. But this could also be a two because we have two twos. Oops, sorry, I should return those numbers back to the ones that we had to begin with. We could have a two there and a two there. That's these two twos. Fix this two in place, fix this two in place. I erase these numbers. And now we have one, three, five, five, six. Five elements, five positions, five times four, times three, times two, times one. Or five factorial. Now, I still have the two fives, so I gotta divide by two factorial, okay? Try another case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so instead of having a two at the back here, I have a one. Oh, sorry, not a one, a six. Because remember, this number needs to be even, so I use my six. Put all my digits back again, okay? Even, but less than three million. Less than three million means I can use a one in this spot. A one and a six is less than three million and even. One, one. Again, what I do is I remove this guy, and I remove this guy, and I've got two, two, three, five, five. So five elements, five positions, five, four, three, two, one. Five factorial. Now, I have two twos and two fives rolling around in here to create variable situations. So I lose two factorial for the two twos, and I lose two factorial for the two fives, and divide by that amount. Maybe make that a little smaller so we can actually fit in the answer. Okay, a little further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have again a six here, and instead of having a one here, we have a two here. 
fix them in place. Now, put my number's back, we lose the 6 because it's stuck here. We lose a 2 because that's stuck here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements, 5 elements in 5 positions, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, or 5 factorial, but I only have the 2 5s because that 1, 2 is fixed here. The 2 5s mean I only divide by 2 factorial, and I'm left with that. Okay. Now, to get my answer, it could be this one, or this one, or this one, or this one. There's no other numbers that are less than 3 million, because I can only have a 1 and a 2, and that are even, only having a 2 and a 6. Okay? So what I do is I take these numbers and I add them all up, and I should get the same total. So 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial. 5 factorial is 120 divided by 2 is 60. 120 divided by 2 is 60. 120 divided by 2, then divided by 2 again is 30, and then 120 divided by 2 is 60, giving us a total of 210 different ways. And that's the number of ways. Closing statement, of course. Therefore, there are 210 numbers using these numbers, uh, these numbers, that could create even numbered, um, even numbers that are seven digits less than 3 million. There you go.